I get some coffee first. All right, well, my idea of filming during the daytime is kind of failing miserably already. As you can see, it is daytime. It is four o'clock already in the afternoon. I just woke up like an hour ago and uh, mainly just wanted to film to uh, show you guys some uh, images in better light and uh, just a couple of things that I just discovered. So first of all, let me flip the camera around. Maybe I'll grab, grab the flashlight too, just in case, but here's how the cage is sitting so far. A better shot of the little, uh, the rear uh, uh, plates and things here. And uh, one thing that I noticed so far, uh, when I've uh, when I just came out here and looked, is that these um, C pillar bars here, they're really close to where the interior panels are. And uh, I don't think I took this into account when I um, when I ordered this kind of uh, cage for uh, rear passenger seat use. So this is going to pretty much cut out a huge channel into those side um, interior panels. So I didn't plan that out very well. And yeah, it's the same thing, same thing on both sides. So this side as well, it's really tight um, against this, uh, you know, interior structural metal here. Uh, if you can call it structural. This thing is so dirty. I should be ashamed. I should be ashamed. Disappointing car guys around the world. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. So the trick with this is you just push the the plate into the inner corner along the uh, transmission tunnel and then it gives you enough space to get the top in here. So it's not really a trick, it's just you got to figure out how to wedge this thing in here. So just like that, I'm going to fold this down temporarily and then let's wedge this. Wedge this sucker in. Oh yeah, this this thing definitely is not far enough back. Huh, that's weird. That's really weird. This bar is already running past where it should be. Uh, on the gauge cluster surround here. So that's weird. I don't think my chassis is crooked. I hope not. Not this bad. Okay. Let's see here. Please fit. That looks pretty dang off. Guess we're gonna try to scoot this thing uh, back a little bit. That is really weird. Maybe that's why this side's a little bit like loose. Gah. So this and this seat belt are pretty much aligned. I'm pretty sure this is as far back as this can go. This is probably going to sit right there. Huh. This looks like it should be right there. 
I'm just gonna compare these two real quick. I don't know if it's just me, but this this bar almost looks like it was bent incorrectly. I mean, I'm just I'm just kind of holding it up here to gauge, and then I'm comparing the um I'm comparing the part up here where these two uh ah let me see if I can adjust the camera here see where these two hoops are up here um where the the tube kinks I'm trying to compare and line these up and when I do the sides of this thing are definitely kind of weirdly off so I figured out what is wrong with the cage I ordered the right hand drive model so yeah I don't know how that happened so now uh I guess I'm just going to try to order a pillar bars for a left hand drive model and the rest of everything should should just fall into place because I'm assuming the four point uh, portion in the back is the same across all of the uh, hatchbacks so yeah that's kind of disappointing um, this winter project pretty much is going to come to a halt maybe I can get the parts in um, the new a, a pillar bars in before the end of winter but we will see yeah really disappointing sorry guys I really wanted to uh, film the rest of this and just just get it over with after like one and a half years pretty much but it's gonna have to come to a hold we all have these kind of hiccups once in a while I guess so yeah until the next project keep the AE86 alive take care Okay, so false alarm, um, through the help of a friend, shout out to you Chris, and also the Club 4AG community, um, I was able to uh, find out a few things. Uh, firstly, is that I just kind of need to bang this thing into place, and secondly, that uh, I was told that uh, the, oops, uh, the A86 cage only comes in a right hand drive spec so the reason for this gap here on this side is because uh, well basically uh, because right hand drive and this is a left hand drive uh, car so usually this allows for the uh, the instrument cluster to pop out and also the um, the right side bar here is uh, moved back a bit to allow space for the drivers uh, the driver's pedal oops yeah so for the driver's um, gas uh, gas pedal and yeah this side I, may, I don't know if they meant it to fit um, for left-hand drive cars on this side or if it just happened to fit um, you know by luck but there you go and I got the overhead crossbar in here as you can see uh, the fitment is super tight. If there's anywhere that looks like it's touching the ceiling, it's because it is. And also uh, on the side, uh, plastic trim panels too. Um, you know, it's pressing, it's pressing in pretty good. So I don't know if, if those are going to last or if it's going to crack. But I really want to um, to leave them in there. And, oh, I think this I think this flashlight battery is dying. So let me grab this one. Yeah, so here's how it's looking. Uh, once again, I got it in with um, a rubber mallet. I scooted the the uh, brackets back here as much uh, as far back as I could get it, and um, everything else seemed to go in okay after this uh, uh, left-hand side bar here. The A-pillar bar was the hardest piece to get in. I actually had to had to hammer and kind of pull um, to get to get this uh, this back uh, bolt in here. And this overhead piece went in really easily. Um, it only goes in one way, so if it doesn't go one, then you know, if you ever get a cage and it doesn't go in one way, you just have to flip it around the other way. Um, 
And the clearance is really good on this one. There's a, there's a little bit of space between the ceiling and the, uh, the sunroof thing here. But that's just, uh, that's not a big deal. And then, let me, uh, let me try to focus. Yeah, so this is how, how close the tolerance is on the, uh, the rear dome light, or the overhead dome light. It's pretty dang close. So it might be something to, uh, you know, to change in the future because it got cracked and all that. But once this thing is in place, um, you know, should be able to just install a new one and and it'll be good. But um, like I said, that's not a huge deal. Um, this side on the left is basically touching the dash up there. Let me let me go around here and I'll show you guys. So here's just a first person view. Oops. Uh, first person view of this angle here. This bar follows this A pillar perfectly. Then it goes up here. And I oh I also removed um I don't know if you can see it from here, but I removed that grab uh, that grab bar from up here that I mentioned because it was getting in the way. And oh also I removed the seat belts from, from up here on the B pillars. Uh, because those were getting in the way too. It's getting um, you know just crushed basically from the uh, from the uh, B pillar bars there or the main hoop. So go ahead and close this guy up. Yes. Let's go to the other side. And here's the fitment here on this side. Hopefully, uh, with a decent focus. Let me see here. Ooh, I think that's okay. So there's a fitment there. It's basically touching the dash right um, in this area here. And then everything fits super snug. Yeah, so this was meant to be a, just a mock-up, um, but I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is where the brackets are going to end up lying. There's not really much wiggle room just because everything touches the ceiling. Uh, one thing I still need to figure out is how these, uh, these fender bars here are going to work with, uh, with my rear hatch trim. And then also uh, fit the diagonal bars after I change batteries here. All right, just gonna start by opening up the brackets here for the door bars. Now I see how it just swivels like that. How's that look? I think that's probably would be okay, or actually maybe too high. If I uh, if I mount it lower, I need to um, extend the length. But with it all the way closed up, this is where it sits here. I think it's uh, I think it might be too high. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but usually. These are uh, supposed to sit down in the hip area, I think, to prevent uh, side intrusion from, uh, you know, cars getting in and, and, and hitting you right in the hip. Uh, I'm not really sure, though. But just mocking it up there. I, I don't really know how long this thing uh, extends, too. So I guess may maybe we'll go over that next. Let's see. Now, I just want to test real quick to see how far this thing can actually go apart. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick in case you guys are curious too. So this is as far as it is uh, so far and it's still going. 
I don't know what the uh, the safe range would be. Oh, there it goes. So I imagine this would have to be in, uh, you know, for at least an inch or something for it to be safe. So I'm going to say that it looks like there's an inch on either side. So it probably has a maximum of two inches of adjustability. So another two inches of length. And actually, now that this is open, I'm, I'm kind of curious on uh, what the inside looks like here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. This thing is solid. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. But, uh, oops. Let me, let me get the camera in focus here if it's not. Um, I don't know if you can see the inside, but it's actually uh, carbon fiber all the way through. So that's crazy. So it's actually structural carbon fiber. I don't know how uh, how thick these walls are, but that's pretty crazy. I thought it was just a uh, uh, an outside layer, you know, for for looks, and that the inside was going to be chromoly or aluminum or whatever it is. Um, but that's that's kind of impressive. I actually have um, a uh, carbon fiber strut bar too on the car. And, and uh, I'm guessing it's the same kind of build, um, seeing as this one is like that. But that's kind of cool. I thought you guys uh, might want to see that. Okay, so this is what I've come up with here. I think this is a good height. If you get down here, it seems like it would be kind of at the driver's hip level. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all still you know really loose right now, but... Uh, If I could go back, I would probably just get um, the cage that that has uh, just the bars, the bolt-in bars, instead of these clamp style. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know how how strong these are going to be. The clamps uh, themselves seem like they're going to be okay, but it, it seems like they would slip um, to me. So this is just base, basically uh, an aesthetic mod. I mean, it's gonna, it is gonna prevent side intrusion. Um, you know, if that ever happened, which probably, eh, I don't know, actually, where's some, where's some wood? I gotta knock on some wood. Uh, I don't know, I don't know about these. I, I, I would think that, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm 100% I'm pretty sure that the, the bolt-in ones would be a lot better than these clamp style. But I got these for a reason uh, back then, just because uh, just because carbon fiber, really. So, here's a shot. Let me see if I can get some other shots for you guys. So, there's kind of where the, uh, the back one mounts up. Just below the, uh, the door hinge lock there. And then here's kind of a sideways ankle. Yeah. All right, guys, I think that is it for me today in terms of filming. My stomach's kind of been training the last couple hours because I've been stressing out about the car. And uh, I thought I would have to order new um, new A-pillar bars and stuff. But um, yeah, shouldn't stress out about stuff like cars. There's other stuff to stress out about. Um, but I think that is it for today. I don't know if I'm going to have time to work on the car tomorrow. Um, actually, maybe. Maybe tomorrow night. Um, but my plan now is just to uh, mark where I want the um, the brackets to, to bolt in, um, finally. Um, also, I need to check out those rear interior panels and see kind of uh, if I'm going to have to just run the car like it is or carve a channel out of the panels because it seems like that's what's going to have to be done um, yeah there's still kind of those issues uh, in terms of wiggle room I think the brackets are pretty much going to be um, where they lay right now um, 
like I said, there there isn't really any wiggle room. Uh, I just need to find out how I'm going to cut, cut the carpet. And if I'm going to try to cut it and like fold it back and then overlay it um, back over or just cut cut the um, the patch of carpet completely out. I don't know if I'm forgetting to say anything else. Let me see here. No, I think um, I think that's it. I'm really glad that today didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was like major. It would have been a major setback actually, if um, if the cage ended up being um, a right hand drive model. But now I know at least there is no such thing. There was only one model. Um, I think that's it. So I look forward to the rest of the install and uh, finishing the winter project. It's about time project. And I hope you guys are excited to come along. I think that's it. Until next time, take care and keep the 86 alive. Thanks for watching.